this video is going to explain how we mark the flags ready for sewing and how we mark the tape ready for sewing the flags onto the tape. The first thing we do is check the flags for the size or for the, um, for the width of 19 centimetres at the top. Um, you'll find that when you're cutting these flags out quite often the fabric moves around so you can have quite a big deviation in the sizes. So we recommend that you check each flag and mark off the 19 centimetre width and draw a line on it which is the line that you're either going to cut at or fold over your tape. If you're using light coloured fabric you can use a ballpoint pen or a pencil. If you're using dark fabric you can mark the line using either tailor's chalk which you can buy in a chunk or you can obtain in a pencil. The tape that we're using for our bunting is 19 millimeter bunting tape and we're asking people to work in lengths of either 10 meters or 50 meters. This is a 50 meter roll and these are obtainable from word of mouth in Hebden Bridge at a cost of £4.50 which is cost price particularly for this project. If you choose to buy it elsewhere that's fine, there's no problem, you can get it anywhere you like as long as you stick to the 19 millimetres. You can also use different colours but we are tending to use white. We recommend that before you start sewing you mark your tape in intervals of 24 centimetres or less. The first mark must be made at least five centimetres onto the tape so that we have enough tape to attach to the next uh, length of bunting. The interval should be 24 centimetres or less and we're recommending 23.8 to give a little bit of room for error so that you don't go over by accident. So you're marking the tape at 23.8 centimetre intervals along the top edge of the tape where the flags are going to be attached. Once you mark your tape you can lay your flags onto the tape with the leading edge of each flag at the mark. Let me just show you a little gizmo which one of our members has designed so that we can test the bunting when it's completed. This little gizmo measures from here to here, 19 centimetres, which should be the size of your flag. And from here to here is five centimetres. So we'll be using this implement to check your bunting when you hand it over to us to make sure it fits with the guidelines. So we've got that, that. We will be checking the measurements of the bunting as you hand it in to us because it's very important that we stick to the guidelines for the Guinness World of Record um, record attempt because if we go over those sizes it could disqualify our attempt. 